Hello everyone and welcome back to Farawa. Today I will be showing you a cottage core outfits lookbook. As you'll notice throughout the video, I'm trying to incorporate items of clothing that relate most to the cottage core aesthetic to me. So I aimed for pale natural colors and floral patterns, as well as clothing with a hint of old fashioned style. This first one I'm calling bird watching. The shoes I am wearing are Converse and I hand embroidered with flowers and little symbols. The socks are just simple gray socks. The pants are a coral color with a brown belt and a floral blouse from Goodwill. If you have any blouses or collared shirts in your closet, you can definitely try to incorporate those in your cottagecore outfits because I think they fit right into that style. This outfit is basically just a blouse and pants. This next one is called Visiting Squirrels, which consists of knee socks, lace-up boots, an overall dress, and a blouse. This was actually originally a pair of overall shorts, which I sewed into a dress when they became too small. And here's my favorite acorn that I'm wearing as a necklace, and you can find out how to do that in the video above. This outfit is called To The Flower Shop. I actually wore it in the video linked above on the uses of roses. The shoes are just the embroidered converse with some striped socks and a pair of my mom's jeans. The top is actually a tunic dress which I have tucked into the pants and it features roses. I'm also wearing a pink headscarf to go with the color of the roses. I think floral pattern is a staple of cottage core, and you can certainly incorporate that into an outfit if you want it to look more like that aesthetic. This next one I have called Bee Watching, which is just the floral tunic untucked with the striped socks, lace-up boots, and headscarf. I never noticed the comfort in the dark. It's not. Here is to the bookshop which is a pair of denim shorts, a brown belt, a t-shirt, and underneath is a sleeveless collared shirt. If you have a collared shirt, I think putting it underneath a t-shirt or any shirt can make it look a bit more cottage core style. The shirt is just a plain white t-shirt that I dyed purple and painted a moon tarot card on. Berry picking is the same thing except without the t-shirt over it, so it's just a button-down sleeveless shirt and some denim shorts. This next one I've named Meeting Mice. It's just some high-rise jeans with a sweater, and I like the lacy embroidery on the edges. I think that makes it look a bit more elegant and delicate. So 
This one is Among the Ferns, which is a green button-down dress and a brown belt. Here I have put on a blouse beneath the dress for To the Village, and I've also added a wider belt and a skirt beneath the dress to give it a layered effect and more patterns. I was frightened when we turned out the lights. Here is painting in the morning. It's just the off the shoulder top with the floral patterned skirt. And this time, it's my turn to learn a different way. Here is meadow walking. And I actually made this piece in one of the videos, and you can see the link above. It is actually a top and a skirt put together, and I am pairing it with my favorite belt here. This one is to the market, it's just the same beige top and skirt, but with a bodice top that I recently made. However, I actually broke the back string filming this, so I'll need to replace it soon. Here is jam making, which is a simple vintage style skirt that I got at Goodwill and the sleeveless collared top. This last one is called foraging and I actually made it as a foraging dress. I sewed this the day after I sewed the two piece dress set. And here I am pairing it with my favorite belt. It's sort of a blouse top with a full skirt and here I have made little bags that can fit onto the dress to hold anything like plants or anything that you'll need while foraging. Everything falls to the ground where the dirt devours it all so so small. It's very hot out here. It's very hot. Bye. I'm going to go get out of this heat. It's very hot. Very, very hot. Bye bye.